Welcome back to another episode of American Fish Do the Fishing. Today, we are targeting pan fish, like always. And then, after we get a few for bait, we will target bowfin and catfish on the bottom. So let's jump right in. I'm just using bobber and about two, two feet of line and a chunk of night crawler. Doesn't have to be too big, because the fish will see it and come and get it. A piece just like this will work fine. I was already over here this morning. Caught two decent size, like seven inch, seven and a quarter bluegill. Same spot, so let's see what's going on. There we go. That's oh, a nice one. Whoa, look at that. That's a nice bluegill. I'm taking him. Bigger ones I'm gonna eat, so that's a nice big boy. Stringers back over there. There's just a bunch of bluegill in here today, and they're not, and they're big. Like they're all right there. Watch, here's another one. Sinking. This one's smaller. Not too much. This is good eating too. Bam. Probably should have brought the stringer over here, but I'll get like five and then I'll go cut up the bait for the bowfin. Bam. Oh. Popped it. Then I just have another piece of night probably ready to go. Another little piece. Throw that on. That's a little bit bigger. We'll see. No. Oh. That was a bad cast. Right. Yeah, right there. I have to let him eat it a little bit more because this piece of worm is a little bit bigger. Let me get it. No? Ah! I'll go back in a minute and I want him to suffer. Oh. Like that, use a bigger worm, you gotta let him eat it. So. I'll let him run with it a little bit. See how that goes. Alright, so I'll be back when we're cutting up the bowfin. Or the bowfin bait. Spots to descend to the ditch, and I just cast it out, and I just got a bluegill. Like, there's another one. Oh, this is a nicer one. Or not. So we found them. Here we are. That's a little female, I think. Yeah, well, that's a big female actually. Where's the hook? Pop the hook out. Let her go. Whoops. Let's see here. Anything else? Oh yeah. Just cast it out. See how long this takes. Three, four, five. Put it right on the weed line. There's a bite. There it goes. It's time for some fresh worm. So I'll put that on and we'll get some more fish. So I just cast it out again on the other side. Oh, you could go on like maybe over there and cast this way. Okay, yeah. Okay. So it does seem like there's some bluegill action in here. Just gotta find them it right there. Make sure your two-piece rods are in firmly because I can't tell you how many times I've casted the two pieces away. I just saw a bluegill. Let me set it right there. There's some. Oh yeah. Trying to get my Fish Ohio bluegill which is uh that's gotta be. I'm gonna take this one back for bait because the other one I have is. I'm gonna show you the rig I use to catch these bowfin on. So I just take a sinker. 
I like one and one half ounce. Put it up there and just tie it on with whatever makes it stay. It's <coughs> good. And you get a hook. Something's jumping over here. It was there before. This is a size two. And you throw that on. And you secure it with that fish is dead by the way, it's just muscle reflexes. I went straight through its spine, so it's it's not suffering, don't worry. I like the I believe it's called the clinch knot. You go around five to eight times, whatever you feel like. I usually go about six. And you go back to the loop, and then you take your nice piece of bluegill. And make sure you put it on good, because sometimes I put it on it just falls off. So Give it a little pull. If it stays on, that's good. Now you can catch catfish on this same rig. I thought in this area, there's just gonna be a lot of bowfin. Now I toss it kind of on the edge, but you don't want to get it too on the edge. It'll pull you in and it'll snag you. Now unless you're using like 65 pound braid, bass fishing gear or something, I don't recommend getting snagged. Here we go. I have 12 pound mono, that works great for everything. Just set that there. And then when it starts shaking, I'll pull it in. And we'll see a bow fin, hopefully. And I'll, I'll be back for that. Hey guys, so I just caught this huge bow fin. It is 28 inches, five pounds, four ounces. So we're gonna let him go now. Look at that beast. His jaw's a little ripped. He still got teeth on there. You ain't going anywhere until you're good. Is he moving? No. Uh oh. Is it dead? Okay, there he goes. Male or female? That is enormous. Yeah. Look at its eyes are. He's looking down at his. That tail. Always make sure your fish are 100% good before you let them go. Is he breathing? Barely. Can you feel any movement in him at all or not? Yeah, he's moving. Ow, oh, shit. He bite. He bite. <laughs> Yeah, he got me. Oh crap, yeah, you're bleeding. <laughs> Did it hurt? Yes. No, yeah, don't stick your hand in his mouth. Hey, yeah, just took your he's rod and make it. Just took your rod and boom. Gone. Yeah. Taste my blood. There he goes. Oh shit. Stop sticking your freaking hand in his mouth. All right. It's on, it's on. Up, 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 up. It's not on. It's on, man. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a nice that's a one. big one. Whenever you don't, don't, don't put move, your finger move, in move, the mouth. Move. Hey guys, this is something pretty gross. There's a tumor on the top of this fish's fin. Look at that. I don't know how good the GoPro is looking, but that's gross. Bye. Yep, so that waters aren't terribly clean, but they're, they're good. Could be worse. There's a lot of places that are dirtier water. But tumors, they happen, just like in people. They happen. So, let them go. Not, definitely not going to eat that thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice one to eat. Bam. Oh. Some parasites. Dude, last night. Yeah, I told yeah, you. Yeah, parasites. How, yeah. Let so him go. Jade texted me and, and we'll be. And he's on fish work. Oh, crap. That's a big warm mouth. Okay, now this is a warm mouth, not a bass or rock bass. 
So I'm gonna go measure him. He's really big, actually, and I'll be back. Ow. It's a little wavy. Hey guys, I just caught this pumpkin seed, and it has this beautiful turquoise fin up here. Kind of in the tail, too. I just caught a mother of one. I forgot to record it, sorry. It was seven and a half inches. So I'm going to put him back. Keegan contributes to the gene pool. Always put nice looking fish back. Like with good colors. Because then you can get more of them. So we'll be back with another fish. So I didn't record this one. But I just caught a nice fish. This is probably a 7.5 inch. Caught, so that might guess. This is the biggest one of the day. Yep. 7.5. So 1.5 more inches till fish Ohio. Look at that fish. That's a nice bluegill. So we're gonna put him in the water. I just killed the night crawlers, crap. And uh, on his way he goes. Toss it right here, see what we get. Right next to the shore. Oh man. That, I will have to measure, that's a good. Let's measure him. Check out the size. I know it's not nine inches. But let's see how close I am. Not the worms. My guess is seven and a half. Tape measure out. Close tail. Set down. Seven. So these are good size to eat, but I got catfish in my freezer. So I'll let them go. That was right in front of me, which means it was most likely a nice nest there. I'm just not even going to bother putting the nightcrawler back on correctly. Because... Whoops. I should go there again. Hungry. Oh, there we are. Oh, pull him off. And if we get a goby too, that'd be excellent bait. So... Alright, so that's all for today, guys. Drop a like and comment below. And until next time, goodbye, good luck, and good fishing. Maybe. Yep. Ooh, a perch. Hey. Oh, I'm taking that home. Holy crap. Hey. Alright, well, this is, this is definitely going home with me. Look at that thing. Perfect.